HSL, hue, saturation, lightness, and HSV, hue, saturation, value are alternative representations of the RGB color model, designed in the 1970s by computer graphics researchers to more closely align with the way human vision perceives color-making attributes. In these models, colors of each hue are arranged in a radial slice, around a central axis of neutral colors which ranges from black at the bottom to white at the top. The HSV representation models the way paints of different colors mix together, with the saturation dimension resembling various shades of brightly colored paint, and the value dimension resembling the mixture of those paints with varying amounts of black or white paint. The HSL model attempts to resemble more perceptual color models such as the Natural Color System NCS, or Munsell Color System, placing fully saturated colors around a circle at a lightness value of one half, where a lightness value of zero or one is fully black or white, respectively. Topic. Basic principle HSL and HSV are both cylindrical geometries fig. 2, with hue, their angular dimension, starting at the red primary at 0 degrees, passing through the green primary at 120 degrees and the blue primary at 240 degrees, and then wrapping back to red at 360 degrees. In each geometry, the central vertical axis comprises the neutral, achromatic, or gray colors, ranging from black at lightness 0 or value 0, the bottom, to white at lightness 1 or value 1, the top. In both geometries, the additive primary and secondary colors — red, yellow, green, cyan, blue and magenta — and linear mixtures between adjacent pairs of them, sometimes called pure colors, are arranged around the outside edge of the cylinder with saturation 1. These saturated colors have lightness 0.5 in HSL, while in HSV they have value 1. Mixing these pure colors with black — producing so-called shades — leaves saturation unchanged. In HSL, saturation is also unchanged by tinting with white, and only mixtures with both black and white—called tones—have saturation less than 1. In HSV, tinting alone reduces saturation. Because these definitions of saturation in which very dark in both models or very light in HSL near neutral colors are considered fully saturated, for instance, from the bottom right in the sliced HSL cylinder or from the top right conflict with the intuitive notion of color purity, often a conic or biconic solid is drawn instead fig. 3, with what this article calls chroma as its radial dimension equal to the range of the RGB values, instead of saturation where the saturation is equal to the chroma over the maximum chroma in that slice of the bicone. Confusingly, such diagrams usually label this radial dimension saturation. Blurring or erasing the distinction between saturation and chroma. As described below, computing chroma is a helpful step in the derivation of each model. Because such an intermediate model with dimensions hue, chroma, and HSV value or HSL lightness takes the shape of a cone or bacone, a, HSV is often called the hexcoon model, while HSL is often called the bi hexcoon model. Fig. 8. Topic. Motivation The HSL color space was invented in 1938 by Georges Valency as a method to add color encoding to existing monochrome i.e. only containing the L signal broadcasts, allowing existing receivers to receive new color broadcasts in black and white without modification as the luminance black and white signal is broadcast unmodified. It has been used in all major analog broadcast television encoding including NTSC, PAL and CECOM and all major digital broadcast systems and is the basis for composite video. Most televisions, computer displays, and projectors produce colors by combining red, green, and blue light in varying intensities—the so-called RGB additive primary colors. 
The resulting mixtures in RGB color space can reproduce a wide variety of colors called a gamut. However, the relationship between the constituent amounts of red, green, and blue light and the resulting color is unintuitive, especially for inexperienced users and for users familiar with subtractive color mixing of paints or traditional artists' models based on tints and shades. Fig. 4. Furthermore, neither additive nor subtractive color models define color relationships the same way the human eye does. For example, imagine we have an RGB display whose color is controlled by three sliders ranging from 0 to 255, one controlling the intensity of each of the red, green, and blue primaries. If we begin with a relatively colorful orange, with sRGB values R. Topic 217 G 118 B equals 33, and want to reduce its colorfulness by half to a less saturated orange, we would need to drag the sliders to decrease R by 31, increase G by 24, and increase B by 59, as pictured below. In an attempt to accommodate more traditional and intuitive color mixing models, computer graphics pioneers at Park and NYIT developed the HSV model in the mid-1970s, formally described by Alvy Ray Smith in the August 1978 issue of Computer Graphics. In the same issue, Job Love and Greenberg described the HSL model, whose dimensions they labeled hue, relative chroma, and intensity, and compared it to HSV Fig. 1. Their model was based more upon how colors are organized and conceptualized in human vision in terms of other color-making attributes, such as hue, lightness, and chroma, as well as upon traditional color mixing methods—e.g., in painting—that involve mixing brightly colored pigments with black or white to achieve lighter, darker, or less colorful colors. The following year, 1979, at SIGGRAPH, Tektronics introduced graphics terminals using HSL for color designation, and the Computer Graphics Standards Committee recommended it in their annual status report, FIG. 7. These models were useful not only because they were more intuitive than raw RGB values, but also because the conversions to and from RGB were extremely fast to compute, they could run in real time on the hardware of the 1970s. Consequently, these models and similar ones have become ubiquitous throughout image editing and graphics software since then. Some of their uses are described below. Topic. Formal derivation Topic. Color making attributes The dimensions of the HSL and HSV geometries — simple transformations of the not perceptually based RGB model — are not directly related to the photometric color-making attributes of the same names, as defined by scientists such as the CIE or ASTM. Nonetheless, it is worth reviewing those definitions before leaping into the derivation of our models. For the definitions of color-making attributes which follow, see Hugh, the attribute of a visual sensation according to which an area appears to be similar to one of the perceived colors red, yellow, green, and blue, or to a combination of two of them. Radiance la, omega. The radiant power of light passing through a particular surface per unit solid angle per unit projected area, measured in SI units in watt per steradian per square meter, W senior minus 1 m minus 2. Luminance y or L v omega. The radiance weighted by the effect of each wavelength on a typical human observer, measured in SI units in candela per square meter, candela per square meter. Often the term luminance is used for the relative luminance, y, y n, where y n is the luminance of the reference white point. Luma y the weighted sum of gamma corrected R, G, and B, values, and used in ECBCR, for JPEG compression and video transmission. Brightness The attribute of a visual sensation according to which an area appears to emit more or less light. Lightness, value The brightness relative to the brightness of a similarly illuminated white. 
colorfulness the attribute of a visual sensation according to which the perceived color of an area appears to be more or less chromatic chroma the colorfulness relative to the brightness of a similarly illuminated white saturation the colorfulness of a stimulus relative to its own brightness Brightness and colorfulness are absolute measures, which usually describe the spectral distribution of light entering the eye, while lightness and chroma are measured relative to some white point, and are thus often used for descriptions of surface colors, remaining roughly constant even as brightness and colorfulness change with different illumination. Saturation can be defined as either the ratio of colorfulness to brightness or that of chroma to lightness. Topic. General approach HSL, HSV, and related models can be derived via geometric strategies, or can be thought of as specific instances of a generalized LHS model. The HSL and HSV model builders took an RGB cube with constituent amounts of red, green, and blue light in a color denoted R, G, B element of 0, 1 and tilted it on its corner, so that black rested at the origin with white directly above it along the vertical axis, then measured the hue of the colors in the cube by their angle around that axis, starting with red at zero degrees. Then they came up with a characterization of brightness, value, lightness, and defined saturation to range from zero along the axis to one at the most colorful point for each pair of other parameters. Topic. Hue and chroma In each of our models, we calculate both hue and what this article will call chroma, after Joblove and Greenberg 1978, in the same way. That is, the hue of a color has the same numerical values in all of these models, as does its chroma. If we take our tilted RGB cube, and project it onto the chromaticity plane, Perpendicular to the neutral axis, our projection takes the shape of a hexagon, with red, yellow, green, cyan, blue, and magenta at its corners fig. 9. Hue is roughly the angle of the vector to a point in the projection, with red at zero degrees, while chroma is roughly the distance of the point from the origin. More precisely, both hue and chroma in this model are defined with respect to the hexagonal shape of the projection. The chroma is the proportion of the distance from the origin to the edge of the hexagon. In the lower part of the adjacent diagram, this is the ratio of lengths op, op, or alternately the ratio of the radii of the two hexagons. This ratio is the difference between the largest and smallest values among R, G, or B in a color. To make our definitions easier to write, we'll define these maximum, minimum, and chroma component values as M, M, and C, respectively. M equals max R G B M equals min R G B C equals M minus M display style begin aligned M and equals operator name max R G B M and equals operator name min R G B C and equals M M end aligned to understand why chroma can be written as M minus M. Notice that any neutral color with R. Topic G. B, projects onto the origin and so has zero chroma. Thus if we add or subtract the same amount from all three of R, G, and B, we move vertically within our tilted cube, and do not change the projection. Therefore, any two colors R, G, B, and R minus M, G minus M, B minus M, project on the same point, and have the same chroma. The chroma of a color with one of its components equal to zero m equals zero is simply the maximum of the other two components. This chroma is m in the particular case of a color with a zero component, and m minus m in general. The hue is the proportion of the distance around the edge of the hexagon which passes through the projected point, originally measured on the range 0, 1, but now typically measured in degrees 0 degrees, 360 degrees. For points which project onto the origin in the chromaticity plane i.e., grays, hue is undefined. Mathematically, this definition of hue is written piecewise H equals U N D E F I N 
E D if C equals zero G minus B C mod six if M equals R B minus R C plus two. If M equals G R minus G C plus four. If M equals B H equals sixty times H. Display style begin aligned H carrot prime and equals begin cases mathrm undefined and M box if C equals zero frac G B C B M O D six and M box if M equals R frac B R C plus two and M box if M equals G frac R G C plus four and M box if M equals B End cases H and equals sixty carat circ times H carat prime end aligned sometimes neutral colors i.e. with C equals zero are assigned a hue of zero degrees for convenience of representation. These definitions amount to a geometric warping of hexagons into circles. Each side of the hexagon is mapped linearly onto a sixty degrees arc of the circle. Fig. Ten. After such a transformation, hue is precisely the angle around the origin and chroma the distance from the origin, the angle and magnitude of the vector pointing to a color. Sometimes for image analysis applications, this hexagon-to-circle transformation is skipped, and hue and chroma will denote these H2 and C2 are defined by the usual Cartesian to polar coordinate transformations fig. 11. The easiest way to derive those is via a pair of Cartesian chromaticity coordinates which we'll call alpha and beta. Alpha equals R minus G cos 60 minus B cos 60 equals 1, 2, 2 R minus G minus B beta equals G sin sixty minus B sin sixty equals three two G minus B H two equals at and two beta alpha C two equals alpha two plus beta two display style begin aligned alpha and equals R G C D O T cos sixty carat circ B C D O T cos sixty carat circ equals text style frac one two two R G B beta and equals G C D O T sin sixty carat circ B C D O T sin sixty carat circ equals text style frac S Q R T three 2 G B H underscore 2 and equals operator name at and 2 beta alpha C underscore 2 and equals SQRT alpha carrot 2 plus beta carrot 2 end aligned the at and 2 function at 2 argument arctangent computes the angle from a Cartesian coordinate pair. Notice that these two definitions of hue H and H2 nearly coincide, with a maximum difference between them for any color of about 1. 12 degrees which occurs at 12 particular hues, for instance H. Topic 13.38 degrees, H2 12. 26 degrees — and with H. equals H2 for every multiple of 30 degrees. The two definitions of chroma C and C2 differ more substantially, they are equal at the corners of our hexagon, but at points halfway between two corners, such as H equals H2. <laughs> Topic. 30 degrees, we have C 1, but C2 equals square root approximately equals 0.866, a difference of about 13.4%. Equals Topic. Lightness Equals While the definition of hue is relatively uncontroversial, it roughly satisfies the criterion that colors of the same perceived hue should have the same numerical hue. 
the definition of a lightness or value dimension is less obvious. There are several possibilities depending on the purpose and goals of the representation. Here are four of the most common Fig. 12, three of these are also shown in Fig. 8. The simplest definition is just the average of the three components, in the HSI model called intensity. Fig. 12a. This is simply the projection of a point onto the neutral axis the vertical height of a point in our tilted cube. The advantage is that together with Euclidean distance calculations of Hue and Cromer, this representation preserves distances and angles from the geometry of the RGB cube. I equals 1 3 R plus G plus B Display style I equals text style frac one three R plus G plus B in the HSV Hexcoon model value is defined as the largest component of a color our M above fig twelve B. This places all three primaries, and also all of the secondary colors cyan, yellow, and magenta into a plane with white, forming a hexagonal pyramid out of the RGB cube. V equals M display style V equals M in the HSL by hexcoon model lightness is defined as the average of the largest and smallest color components fig 12c this definition also puts the primary and secondary colors into a plane but a plane passing halfway between white and black the resulting color solid is a double cone similar to Ostwald's shown above L equals 1 2 m plus m display style l equals text style frac 1 2 m plus m a more perceptually relevant alternative is to use luma y as a lightness dimension fig 12d luma is the weighted average of gamma corrected r g and b based on their contribution to perceived lightness long used as the monochromatic dimension in color television broadcast for the rec 709 primaries used in srgb y 709 equals 0.21 r plus 0.72 g plus 0.07 b for the rec 601 NTSC primaries, Y 601 approximately equals 0.30 R plus 0.59 G plus 0.11 B, for other primaries different coefficients should be used. Y 709 equals 0.2126 R plus 0.7152 G plus 0.0722 B Display style Y underscore 709 carat prime equals 0 0.2126 R plus 0 0.7152 G plus 0 0.0722 B Y 601 equals 0 0.2989 R plus 0 0.5870 g plus 0 0.1140 b display style y underscore 601 caret prime equals 0 0.2989 r plus 0 0.5870 g plus 0 0.1140 b. All four of these leave the neutral axis alone. That is for colors with r. Topic G B. Any of the four formulations yields a lightness equal to the value of R, G, or B. For a graphical comparison, see Fig. 13 below. Topic Saturation 
When encoding colors in a hue, lightness, chroma or hue, value, chroma model, using the definitions from the previous two sections, model, not all combinations of lightness, or value, and chroma are meaningful, that is, half of the colors denotable using H element of 0 degrees, 360 degrees, C element of 0, 1, and V element of 0, 1, fall outside the RGB gamut, the gray parts of the slices in figure 14. The creators of these models considered this a problem for some uses. For example, in a color selection interface with two of the dimensions in a rectangle and the third on a slider, half of that rectangle is made of unused space. Now imagine we have a slider for lightness. The user's intent when adjusting this slider is potentially ambiguous. How should the software deal with out-of-gamut colors? Or conversely, if the user has selected as colorful as possible a dark purple, and then shifts the lightness slider upward, what should be done? Would the user prefer to see a lighter purple still as colorful as possible for the given hue and lightness, or a lighter purple of exactly the same chroma as the original color? To solve problems such as these, the HSL and HSV models scale the chroma so that it always fits into the range 0, 1 for every combination of hue and lightness or value, calling the new attribute saturation in in both cases fig 14 to calculate either simply divide the chroma by the maximum chroma for that value or lightness s h s v equals 0 if v equals 0 c v otherwise S H S L equals zero if L equals one L equals zero C one minus two L minus one otherwise display style begin aligned S underscore H S V and equals begin cases zero and M box if V equals zero fract C V and M box otherwise end cases S underscore H S L and equals begin cases zero and M box if L equals one law L equals zero fract C one two L one and M box otherwise end cases end aligned the H S I model commonly used for computer vision, which takes H2 as a hue dimension and the component average I intensity as a lightness dimension, does not attempt to fill a cylinder by its definition of saturation. Instead of presenting color choice or modification interfaces to end users, the goal of HSI is to facilitate separation of shapes in an image. Saturation is therefore defined in line with the psychometric definition, chroma relative to lightness, fig. 15. See the use in image analysis section of this article. SHSI equals zero. If I equals O one minus MI, otherwise display style S underscore HSI equals begin cases zero and M box. If I equals zero one frac M I and M box, otherwise end cases using the same name for these three different definitions of saturation leads to some confusion, as the three attributes describe substantially different color relationships. In HSV and HSI, the term roughly matches the psychometric definition of a chroma of a color relative to its own lightness, but in HSL it does not come close. Even worse, the word saturation is also often used for one of the measurements we call chroma above, C or C2. Topic. Examples All parameter values shown below are in the interval 0, 1, except those for H and H2 which are in the interval 0 degrees, 360 degrees. Topic. Use in end-user software The original purpose of HSL and HSV and similar models, and their most common current application, is in color selection tools. At their simplest, some such color pickers provide three sliders, one for each attribute. Most, however, show a two-dimensional slice through the model, along with a slider controlling which particular slice is shown. The latter type of GUI exhibits great variety, because of the choice of cylinders, hexagonal prisms, or cones, becones that the models suggest see the diagram near the top of the page. 
Several color choosers from the 1990s are shown to the right, most of which have remained nearly unchanged in the intervening time. Today, nearly every computer color chooser uses HSL or HSV, at least as an option. Some more sophisticated variants are designed for choosing whole sets of colors, basing their suggestions of compatible colors on the HSL or HSV relationships between them. Most web applications needing color selection also base their tools on HSL or HSV, and pre-packaged open source color choosers exist for most major web front-end frameworks. The CSS3 specification allows web authors to specify colors for their pages directly with HSL coordinates. HSL and HSV are sometimes used to define gradients for data visualization, as in maps or medical images. For example, the popular GIS program ArcGIS historically applied customizable HSV based gradients to numerical geographical data. Image editing software also commonly includes tools for adjusting colors with reference to HSL or HSV coordinates, or to coordinates in a model based on the intensity or luma defined above. In particular, tools with a pair of hue and saturation sliders are commonplace, dating to at least the late 1980s, but various more complicated color tools have also been implemented. For instance, the Unix Image Viewer and Color Editor XV allowed six user-definable hue H ranges to be rotated and resized, included a dial-like control for saturation SHSV, and a curves-like interface for controlling value V. See Fig. 17. The Image Editor Picture Window Pro includes a color correction tool which affords complex remapping of points in a hue – saturation plane relative to either HSL or HSV space. Video editors also use these models. For example, both Avid and Final Cut Pro include color tools based on HSL or a similar geometry for use adjusting the color in video. With the Avid tool, users pick a vector by clicking a point within the hue – saturation circle to shift all the colors at some lightness level shadows, mid-tones, highlights by that vector. Since version 4.0, Adobe Photoshop's luminosity, hue, saturation, and color blend modes composite layers using a luma, chroma, hue color geometry. These have been copied widely, but several imitators use the HSL e.g. PhotoImpact, PaintShop Pro or HSV e.g. GIMP geometries instead. Topic: Use in image analysis. HSL, HSV, HSI, or related models are often used in computer vision and image analysis for feature detection or image segmentation. The applications of such tools include object detection, for instance in robot vision, object recognition, for instance of faces, text, or license plates, content-based image retrieval, and analysis of medical images. For the most part, computer vision algorithms used on color images are straightforward extensions to algorithms designed for grayscale images, for instance k-means or fuzzy clustering of pixel colors, or canny edge detection. At the simplest, each color component is separately passed through the same algorithm. It is important, therefore, that the features of interest can be distinguished in the color dimensions used. Because the R, G, and B components of an object's color in a digital image are all correlated with the amount of light hitting the object, and therefore with each other, image descriptions in terms of those components make object discrimination difficult. Descriptions in terms of hue, lightness, chroma or hue, lightness, saturation are often more relevant. Starting in the late 1970s, transformations like HSV or HSI were used as a compromise between effectiveness for segmentation and computational complexity. They can be thought of as similar in approach and intent to the neural processing used by human color vision, without agreeing in particulars. If the goal is object detection, roughly separating hue, lightness, and chroma or saturation is effective, but there is no particular reason to strictly mimic human color response. John Kender's 1976 master's thesis proposed the HSI model. OHTA et al. 1980 instead used a model made up of dimensions similar to those we have called I, alpha, and beta. 
In recent years, such models have continued to see wide use, as their performance compares favorably with more complex models, and their computational simplicity remains compelling. Topic. Disadvantages While HSL, HSV, and related spaces serve well enough to, for instance, choose a single color, they ignore much of the complexity of color appearance. Essentially, they trade off perceptual relevance for computation speed. From a time in computing history, high end 1970s graphics workstations, or mid 1990s consumer desktops, when more sophisticated models would have been too computationally expensive, HSL and HSV are simple transformations of RGB which preserve symmetries in the RGB cube unrelated to human perception, such that its R, G, and B corners are equidistant from the neutral axis, and equally spaced around it. If we plot the RGB gamut in a more perceptually uniform space, such as CIELAB see below, it becomes immediately clear that the red, green, and blue primaries do not have the same lightness or chroma, or evenly spaced hues. Furthermore, different RGB displays use different primaries, and so have different gamuts. Because HSL and HSV are defined purely with reference to some RGB space, they are not absolute color spaces. To specify a color precisely requires reporting not only HSL or HSV values, but also the characteristics of the RGB space they are based on, including the gamma correction in use. If we take an image and extract the hue, saturation, and lightness or value components, and then compare these to the components of the same name as defined by color scientists, we can quickly see the difference, perceptually. For example, examine the following images of a fire breather fig. 13. The original is in the sRGB color space. CIELABL asterisk is a CIE defined achromatic lightness quantity dependent solely on the perceptually achromatic luminance Y, but not the mixed chromatic components X or Z, are the CIEXYZ color space from which the sRGB color space itself is derived, and it is plain that this appears similar in perceptual lightness to the original color image. Luma is roughly similar, but differs somewhat at high chroma, where it deviates most from depending solely on the true achromatic luminance y, or equivalently L** and is influenced by the colorimetric chromaticity X, y, or equivalently A** B** of CIELAB. HSLL and HSVV, by contrast, diverge substantially from perceptual lightness. Though none of the dimensions in these spaces match their perceptual analogues, the value of HSV and the saturation of HSL are particular offenders. In HSV, the blue primary and white are held to have the same value, even though perceptually the blue primary has somewhere around 10% of the luminance of white the exact fraction depends on the particular RGB primaries in use. In HSL, a mix of 100% red, 100% green, 90% blue that is, a very light yellow, is held to have the same saturation as the green primary, even though the former color has almost no chroma or saturation by the conventional psychometric definitions. Such perversities led Cynthia Brewer, expert in color scheme choices for maps and information displays, to tell the American Statistical Association, Computer science offers a few poorer cousins to these perceptual spaces that may also turn up in your software interface, such as HSV and HLS. They are easy mathematical transformations of RGB, and they seem to be perceptual systems because they make use of the hue lightness, value saturation terminology. But take a close look, don't be fooled. Perceptual color dimensions are poorly scaled by the color specifications that are provided in these and some other systems. For example, saturation and lightness are confounded, so a saturation scale may also contain a wide range of lightnesses, for example, it may progress from white to green which is a combination of both lightness and saturation. Likewise, hue and lightness are confounded so, for example, a saturated yellow and saturated blue may be designated as the same lightness but have wide differences in perceived lightness. These flaws make the systems difficult to use to control the look of a color scheme in a systematic manner. If much tweaking is required to achieve the desired effect, the system offers little benefit over grappling with raw specifications in RGB or CMY. 
If these problems make HSL and HSV problematic for choosing colors or color schemes, they make them much worse for image adjustment. HSL and HSV, as Brewer mentioned, confound perceptual color-making attributes, so that changing any dimension results in non-uniform changes to all three perceptual dimensions, and distorts all of the color relationships in the image. For instance, rotating the hue of a pure dark blue toward green will also reduce its perceived chroma, and increase its perceived lightness the latter is gray and lighter, but the same hue rotation will have the opposite impact on lightness and chroma of a lighter bluish green. Two, the latter is more colorful and slightly darker. In the example below Fig. 21, the image on the left a, is the original photograph of a green turtle. In the middle image B, we have rotated the hue H of each color by minus 30 degrees, while keeping HSV value and saturation or HSL lightness and saturation constant. In the image on the right C, we make the same rotation to the HSL, HSV hue of each color, but then we force the CIELAB lightness L asterisk, a decent approximation of perceived lightness to remain constant. Notice how the hue shifted middle version without such a correction dramatically changes the perceived lightness relationships between colors in the image. In particular, the turtle's shell is much darker and has less contrast, and the background water is much lighter. Because hue is a circular quantity, represented numerically with a discontinuity at 360 degrees, it is difficult to use in statistical computations or quantitative comparisons. Analysis requires the use of circular statistics. Furthermore, hue is defined piecewise, in 60 degrees chunks, where the relationship of lightness, value, and chroma to R, G, and B depends on the hue chunk in question. This definition introduces discontinuities, corners which can plainly be seen in horizontal slices of HSL or HSV. Charles Poynton, digital video expert, lists the above problems with HSL and HSV in his color FAQ, and concludes that HSV and HLS were developed to specify numerical hue, saturation and brightness, or hue, lightness and saturation in an age when users had to specify colors numerically. The usual formulations of HSB and HLS are flawed with respect to the properties of color vision. Now that users can choose colors visually, or choose colors related to other media, such as Pantone, or use perceptually based systems like L UV and L AB, HSB and HLS should be abandoned. Topic. Other cylindrical coordinate color models The creators of HSL and HSV were far from the first to imagine colors fitting into conic or spherical shapes, with neutrals running from black to white in a central axis, and hues corresponding to angles around that axis. Similar arrangements date back to the 18th century, and continue to be developed in the most modern and scientific models. <laughs> Topic. Color conversion formulae To convert from HSL or HSV to RGB, we essentially invert the steps listed above as before, RG, B element of 0, 1. First, we compute chroma, by multiplying saturation by the maximum chroma for a given lightness or value. Next, we find the point on one of the bottom three faces of the RGB cube which has the same hue and chroma as our color and therefore projects onto the same point in the chromaticity plane. Finally, we add equal amounts of R, G, and B to reach the proper lightness or value. Topic. HSL to RGB Given a color with hue H element of 0 degrees, 360 degrees, saturation SHSL element of 0, 1, and lightness L element of 0, 1, we first find chroma C equals 1 minus 2 L minus 1 times s H s L Display style C equals begin aligned one left vert two L one right vert times S underscore method HSL end aligned 
Then we can find a point R1, G1, B1 along the bottom three faces of the RGB cube, with the same hue and chroma as our color using the intermediate value x for the second largest component of this color h equals h 60 x equals c times 1 minus h mod 2 minus 1 display style begin aligned h caret prime and equals frac h 60 caret circ x and equals c times 1 h caret prime bmod 2 minus 1 end aligned r 1 g 1 b 1 equals 0 0 0 if h is undefined c x 0 if 0 h 1 x c 0 if 1 h 2 0 C x if two h three zero x C if three h four x zero C if four h five C zero x if five h six display style R underscore one G underscore one B underscore one equals begin cases zero 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 and text if h text is undefined C x zero and text if zero leq h carrot pre me leq one x c zero and text if one leq h carrot prime leq two zero c x and text if two leq h carrot prime leq three zero x c and text if three leq h carrot prime leq four x zero c and text if four leq h carrot prime leq five c zero x and text if five leq h carrot prime leq six n and cases overlap when h display style h caret prime is an integer occurs because two ways to calculate the value are equivalent x equals 0 display style x equals 0 or x equals c display style x equals c as appropriate finally we can find r g and b by adding the same amount to each component to match lightness m equals l minus c 2 r g b equals r 1 plus m g 1 plus m b 1 plus m display style display style begin aligned and m equals l c 2 and r g b equals r underscore 1 plus m g underscore 1 plus m b underscore 1 plus m end aligned Topic. Alternative HSL to RGB Given a color with hue H element of 0 360 display style H in 0 carat circ 360 carat circ saturation S equals S H S L element of zero one display style s equals s underscore h s l in zero one and lightness L element of zero one display style L in zero one. First, we define function f n equals L minus a max min k minus 3 9 minus k 1 minus 1 Display style f n equals la max min k 3 9 k 1 minus 1 where k n element of r 0 display style k n in math bound r underscore g e q 0 and k equals n plus 
H thirty mod one two equals S min L one minus L display style begin aligned K and equals N plus frac H thirty carat circ BMOD one two R and equals S min L one L end aligned and output R G B values from zero one three display style zero one carat three R R G B equals F zero F eight F four display style R G B equals F zero F eight F four explanation above alternative equivalent formulas allow shorter implementation. Here is proof of concept in JavaScript. In above formulas, the a mod b display style at bmod b returns also fractional part of module e.g. the formula seven point four mod six equals 1.4 display style 7.4 bmod 6 equals 1.4 the values of k element of r k element of 0 12 display style k in mathbound r land k in 0 12 the base shape t K equals T N H equals max min K minus three nine minus K one minus one Display style T K equals T N H equals max min K three nine K one minus one is constructed as follows T one equals min K minus three nine minus K Display style T one equals min K three nine K is triangle for which values greater or equal minus 1 starts from k equals 2 and ends for k equals 10 highest point is at k equals 6 then by t 2 equals min t 1 1 display style t 2 equals min t 1 1 we change values bigger than 1 to exact 1 then by t equals max t two minus one display style t equals max t two minus one. We change values less than minus one to exact minus one. At this point, we get something similar to red shape from Fig. 24 after vertical flip, which max value is 1 and min value is minus 1. The arc G, B functions of H H use this shape transformed in following way, modulo shifted on X X by N N differently for R, G, B, scaled on Y display style Y by minus a display style a and shifted on Y display style Y by L display style L. We observe following shape properties fig. 24 can help to get intuition about them. T n h equals minus t n plus 6 h minus 1 equals min t n h t n plus 4 h t n plus 8 h 1 equals max t n h t n plus 4 h t n plus 8 h display style begin aligned t n h equals and t n plus 6 h minus 1 and equals min t n h t n plus 4 h t n plus 8 h H one and equals max T N H T N plus four H T N plus eight H end aligned. Topic HSV to RGB 
Given an HSV color with hue H element of 0 degrees, 360 degrees, saturation S HSV element of 0, 1, and value V element of 0, 1, we can use the same strategy. First, we find chroma C equals V times S HSV display style C equals V times S underscore method HSV. Then we can again find a point R1, G1, B1 along the bottom three faces of the RGB cube with the same hue and chroma as our color using the intermediate value x for the second largest component of this color H equals H 60 x equals C times 1 minus H mod 2 minus 1 display style begin aligned H caret prime and equals frac h 60 carat circ x and equals c times 1 h carat prime bmod 2 minus 1 end aligned r1 g1 b1 equals 0 0 0 if h is undefined c x 0 if 0 h 1 x c 0 if 1 h 2 0 c x if 2 h 3 0 x c if 3h 4x 0 c if 4h 5 c 0 x if 5h 6 display style r underscore 1 g underscore 1 b underscore 1 equals begin cases 0 0 0 and text if h text is undefined c x 0 and text if 0 leq h caret prime leq 1 x c 0 and text if 1 overlap when h display style h caret prime is an integer occurs because two ways to calculate the value are equivalent x equals 0 display style x equals 0 or x equals C display style x equals C as appropriate finally we can find R G and B by adding the same amount to each component to match value M equals V minus C R G B equals R1 plus M G1 plus M B1 plus M display style begin aligned and M equals V C and R G B equals R underscore 1 plus M G underscore 1 plus M B underscore 1 plus M end aligned topic Alternative HSV to RGB Given a color with hue H element of 0 360 display style H in 0 carat circ 360 carat circ saturation S equals S H S V element of zero one display style s equals s underscore h s v in zero one and value v element of zero one display style v in zero one. First, we define function f n equals v minus V s max min K 4 minus K 1 0 display style F n equals VVS max min K 4 K 1 0 where K n element of R Zero display style k n in math bound r underscore g e q zero and k equals n plus h sixty mod six display style begin aligned k n equals n plus frac h sixty carat circ b m o d six end aligned and output r g b values from zero one three display style zero one carat three r r g b equals f five f three f one display style r g b equals f five f three f one explanation above alternative equivalent formulas allow shorter implement here is proof of concept in JavaScript. In above formulas, the mod b display style at b m o d b returns also fractional part of module, e.g. the formula 7.4 mod 6 equals 1.4 display style 7.4 b m o d 6 equals 1.4. 
The values of k element of R k element of 0 6 display style k in math bound R land k in 0 6. The base shape T n h equals T k equals max min k 4 minus k 1 0 display style t n h equals t k equals max min k 4 k 1 0 is constructed as follows t 1 equals min k 4 minus k display style t1 equals min k 4k is triangle for which non negative value starts from k equals 0 highest point at k equals 2 and ends at k equals 4 then we change values bigger than 1 to 1 by t 2 equals min t 1 1 display style t2 equals min t1 1 then change negative values to 0 by t equals max t 2 0 display style t equals max t2 0 and we get for n equals 0 display style n equals 0 something similar to green shape from fig 24 which max value is 1 and min value is 0 the arc g b functions of h display style h use this shape transformed in following way modulo shifted on x display style x by n display style n differently for r g b scaled on y display style y by minus v s display style v s and shifted on y display style y by v display style v we observe following shape properties fig 24 can help to get intuition about this t n h equals 1 minus t n plus 3 h 0 equals m i n t n h t n plus 2 h t n plus 4 h 1 equals max t n h t n plus 2 h t n plus 4 h display style begin aligned t n h and equals 1 t n plus 3 h 0 and equals mathram me n t n h t n plus 2 h H T N plus four H one and equals Max T N H T N plus two H T N plus four H end aligned Topic RGB to HSL and HSV Value must be in range R G B element of zero one display style R G B in zero one H equals zero if M A X equals M I N R equals G equals B sixty Zero plus G minus B M A X minus M I N if M A X equals R sixty two plus B minus R M A 
x minus m i n if m a x equals g sixty four plus r minus g m a x minus m i n, if m a x equals b, display style h equals begin cases zero and text if max equals min left right arrow r equals g equals b sixty carat circ c d o t left zero plus frac g b max min right and text if max equals r sixty carat circ c d o t left two plus frac b r max min right and text if max equals G sixty carat circ C D O T left four plus frac R G max min right and text if max equals B end cases if H zero then H equals H plus three hundred and sixty display style text if H H plus three six O carat circ S H S V equals zero A x equals zero R equals G equals B equals zero M A X minus M I N M A X. Otherwise display style display style S underscore mathrm H S V equals begin cases zero and text if max equals zero left right arrow R equals G equals B equals zero frac max min max and text otherwise end cases S H S L equals zero if M A X equals zero R equals G equals B equals zero zero if M I N equals one R equals G equals B equals one M A X minus M I N one minus M A X plus M I N minus one equals two M A X minus two L one minus two L minus one equals M A X minus L M I N L one minus L otherwise display style display style S underscore mathrm H S L equals begin cases zero and text if max equals zero left right arrow R equals G equals B equals zero zero and text if min equals one left right arrow R equals G equals B equals one frac max min one left vert max plus min minus one right vert equals frac two M A X two L one left vert two L one right vert equals frac max L mathrm me n L one L and text otherwise end cases V equals M A X display style V equals max L equals M A X plus M I N two display style L equals frac max plus min two Topic H S V to H S L Given a color with hue H H S V element of zero three hundred and sixty display style H underscore H S V in zero carat circ three hundred and sixty carat circ saturation S H S V element of zero one display style s underscore HSV in 0 1 and value V element of 0 1 display style V in 0 1 H H s L equals H H s V L 
equals v minus v s h s v 2 SHSL equals 0 if L equals 0 or 1 V minus L per minute L 1 minus L otherwise display style begin aligned H underscore HSL and equals H underscore HSV L and equals VVS underscore HSV 2 S underscore HSL and equals begin cases 0 and text if L equals 0 text or 1 VL min L 1 L and text otherwise end cases end aligned example implementation in JavaScript and error analysis. Topic HSL to HSV. Given a color with hue H H S L element of zero three hundred and sixty. Display style H underscore HSL in zero carat circ, three hundred and sixty carat circ. Saturation S H S L element of zero one. Display style S underscore HSL in zero one and luminance L element of zero. One display style L in zero one H H S V equals H H S L V equals L plus S H S L Min L one minus L SHS V equals zero if V equals O two minus two L V otherwise display style begin aligned H underscore HSV and equals H underscore HSL V and equals L plus S underscore HSL min L one L S underscore HSV and equals begin cases zero and text if V equals zero two to two L V and text otherwise end cases end aligned example implementation in JavaScript and error analysis. Topic HSI to RGB. Given an HSI color with hue H element of zero degrees, three hundred and sixty degrees, saturation S HSI element of zero one, and intensity I element of zero one, we can use the same strategy in a slightly different order. H equals H sixty Z equals one minus H mod two minus one C equals three I S H S I one plus Z X equals C Z Display style begin aligned H carrot prime and equals frac H sixty carat circ Z and equals one H carrot prime BMOD two minus one C and equals frac three C D O T I C D O T S underscore H S I one plus Z X and equals C C D O T Z end aligned where C display style C is the chroma then we can again find a point R1, G1, B1 along the bottom three faces of the RGB cube with the same hue and chroma as our color using the intermediate value x for the second largest component of this color R1 G1 B1 equals 0 0 0 H is undefined C X zero if zero H one X 
c 0 if 1 h 2 0 c x if two H three zero X C if three H four X zero C if four H five C zero X if five H six display style R underscore one G underscore one B underscore one equals begin cases zero 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 and text if H text is undefined C X zero and text if zero LEQ H carrot prime LEQ one X C zero and text if one LEQ H carrot prime leq 2 0 c x and text if 2 leq h carrot prime leq 3 0 x c and text if 3 leq h carrot prime leq 4 x 0 c and text if 4 leq h carrot prime leq 5 c 0 x and text if 5 leq h carrot prime overlap when h display style h carrot prime is an integer occurs because two ways to calculate the value are equivalent x equals 0 display style x equals 0 or x equals C display style x equals c as appropriate. Finally, we can find r, g, and b by adding the same amount to each component to match lightness. M equals i one minus s h s i r g b equals r one plus m g one plus m b one plus m display style begin aligned and m equals i c d o t one s underscore h s i and r g b equals r underscore one plus m g underscore one plus m b underscore one plus m end aligned. Topic: Luma, Chroma, Hue to RGB. Given a color with hue H element of 0 degrees, 360 degrees, Chroma C element of 0, 1, and Luma Y 601 element of 0, 1, we can again use the same strategy. Since we already have H and C, we can straight away find our point R1, G1, B1 along the bottom three faces of the RGB cube. H equals H60x equals C times 1 minus H mod 2 minus 1. Display style begin aligned H caret prime and equals frac H 60 caret circ X and equals C times 1 H caret prime B M O D 2 minus 1 end aligned R1 G1 B1 equals 0. 0, 0 if h is undefined c x 0 if 0 h 1 x c 0 if 1 h 2 0 c x Two H three zero X C if three H four X zero C if four H five C zero X if five H six display style R underscore one G underscore one B underscore one equals begin cases zero 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 and text if H text is undefined C X zero and text if zero LEQ H carrot prime LEQ one X C zero and text if one LEQ H carrot prime LEQ two zero C X and text if two 2 leq h carrot prime leq 3 0 x c and text if 3 leq h carrot prime leq 4 x 0 c and text if 4 leq h carrot prime leq 5 c 0 x and text if 5 leq h carrot prime overlap when h display style h carrot prime is an integer occurs because two ways to calculate the value are equivalent x equals 0 display style x equals 0 or or x equals c display style x equals c as appropriate 
Then we can find R, G, and B by adding the same amount to each component, to match luma, M equals Y601, minus 0.30 R1 plus 0.59 G1 plus 0.11 B1, R, G, B equals R1 plus M, G1 plus M, B1 plus M, display style begin aligned, and M equals Y underscore 601, carrot prime, 30 R underscore 1 plus 59 G underscore 1 plus. 11 B underscore 1 and R G B equals R underscore 1 plus M G underscore 1 plus M B underscore 1 plus M end aligned topic swatches mouse over the swatches below to see the R G and B values for each swatch in a tooltip Topic HSL Topic HSV Equals equals notes <laughs>